Step into the unpredictable journey of Quantum Leap, a TV series that effortlessly blends science fiction with drama. Following Dr. Sam Beckett, a physicist leaping through time, each episode unveils a new era, a new challenge. What makes this series intriguing are the many funny, shocking, and sad facts that lie ahead, so keep watching. Have you stumbled upon lesser-known facts about Quantum Leap that fascinated you? Or maybe it left an impact on your life? Share your personal stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear your cherished memories or experiences related to the show. Stay tuned for a ride through time where every leap takes Quantum Leap into uncharted territories. Your stories and memories await in the comments. Scott Bakula delivers a standout performance in Quantum Leap, a television series that has earned its place among the classics. The show, known for its unique premise, follows him as he leaps into various personas, showcasing his adaptability and delivering consistently compelling performances. The brilliance of the writing is apparent, but it's his skill that brings each character to life convincingly, whether in serious or comedic situations. The chemistry between Bakula and Dean Stockwell, who plays Al, adds to its appeal. Their partnership creates an engaging dynamic, with each episode offering a different plot twist. Despite its age and dated special effects, the strong storytelling and action keep viewers captivated until the final episode. The show stands out as a pioneer in its genre, offering a unique and interesting narrative that transcends the limitations of its visual effects. While some may find its appearance outdated, those who give it a chance discover a treasure trove of great acting and compelling storytelling. Even skeptics are drawn in by the well-crafted narratives, setting aside initial reservations about the show's graphic time. The series manages to transcend its visual shortcomings, proving that a captivating story can endure despite the passage of time. In one memorable episode, it tackles a sensitive topic with grace as he leaps into the body of a young man with Down syndrome, earning cheers from viewers for its compassionate portrayal. Each episode, with its own unique twist, contributes to the overall charm. In conclusion, Quantum Leap remains a standout science fiction series marked by exceptional performances and innovative storytelling. Whether you're a fan of the genre or not, the show's ability to draw viewers into diverse narratives makes it a timeless and enjoyable watch. In the realm of television, Quantum Leap stands out for its unique episodes and behind-the-scenes anecdotes. The two-part episode titled Lee Harvey Oswald, October 5, 1957, November 22, 1963, was penned by Donald P. Belisario, who drew inspiration from a conversation with Oswald during their time in the Marines. Intriguingly, this meeting was later portrayed in the show, with Matthew Charles Nelson stepping into Belisario's shoes. A noteworthy filming technique used in Quantum Leap involves scenes where Scott Bakula, portraying Sam Beckett, gazes at someone else's reflection in a mirror. These scenes are captured on a dual set using a clear glass mirror with Bakula on one side and the counterpart actor or actress on the other. The show's run coincided with AB's China Beach and both featured a main character named Samuel Beckett. This name holds significance closely associated with an Irish playwright and novelist of the 20th century. These insights, derived from a reputable source, shed light on the thought process behind the show's creation, its unique filming methods, and an interesting connection with another series. Quantum Leap remains an intriguing piece of television history, capturing the essence of its time. Facing a precarious situation in its third season due to dwindling viewership, the 1989 TV series Quantum Leap encountered the threat of cancellation. However, a letter-writing campaign emerged as a savior, rallying enough support to secure the show's survival for an additional two years. Scott Bakula, pivotal to the series, shared screen space again with Dean Stockwell in Star Trek, Enterprise, Detained, and NCIS New Orleans, Chasing Ghosts. Bakula, the first actor cast in the series, played a crucial role in shaping the dynamic by advocating for Stockwell's inclusion as Al Cal Avicii during auditions. These insights, gleaned from a reliable source, offer a glimpse into Quantum Leap's resilience against cancellation, the enduring collaboration between Bakula and Stockwell, and the casting decisions that shaped the show's trajectory. Scott Bakula, Dean Stockwell, Bruce McGill, and Dennis Wolfberg played pivotal roles in both the inaugural and concluding episodes of Quantum Leap. The Pilot Genesis 
Part 1, September 13, 1956, and the finale, Mirror Image, August 8, 1953, featured these four actors, providing continuity throughout the series. Notably, TV Guide recognized the show's cult status by ranking it 15th in their list of the 25 top cult shows ever. Its widespread appeal and enduring popularity contributed to its significant placement in this esteemed ranking. Donald P. Belisario, the creative force behind the series, regarded it as his favorite among all his television productions. This insight, gleaned from a reputable source, sheds light on the personal significance Belisario attached to it, underscoring its unique standing in his prolific career. In summary, the narrative integrity of the show remained intact with the consistent presence of key actors throughout its episodes. Its cult status, acknowledged by TV Guide and Donald P. Belisario's personal preference highlight its enduring impact on television, making it a noteworthy entry in the annals of TV history. After facing cancellation, the 1989 TV series encountered a revival attempt that included plans for a new television series and even a movie in the early 2000s. However, these efforts fell through, and it wasn't until the sequel series debuted in 2022 that the show found a continuation. The key actors, pivotal to the original series, expressed interest in continuing their roles, but one clarified the lack of involvement in the new series on Instagram. Unfortunately, the other passed away in 2021. Throughout the series, the main character leaped into various years from 1953 to 1987, excluding a few. He also made leaps into 1862 and 1945, marking the only instances outside his own lifetime. The series' origins can be traced back to Donald P. Belisario's involvement in Battlestar Galactica. The concept of time travel, initially considered for the Galactica 1980s spin-off, found its place in this show. The idea of correcting changes in history persisted from the early concept to the development of the TV series. This information, drawn from a reputable source, provides insights into post-cancellation attempts, the diverse timelines explored, and the series' roots in Battlestar Galactica's legacy. The journey reflects both the challenges faced and the enduring fascination with time travel narratives, making it a distinctive entry in television history. Scott Bakula's spontaneous ad lib of Old oh Boy in the inaugural episode set the tone for the show, becoming its signature closing line as Sam leaped into a new identity at the end of each episode. While not explicitly highlighted, Project Quantum Leap, aside from Gucci, predominantly operated under the direction of women. Notable figures included Dr. Donna Elise, Sam's wife and physicist, Dr. Beeks, a medical technician, Tina Martinez, Al's girlfriend and assistant programmer, an unnamed military envoy, and the unseen but influential Dr. Sammy Joe Fuller, Sam's daughter and physicist. Ziggy, the project's sentient computer, displayed distinctly female attributes. Behind the scenes, the show entertained several unused episode concepts, including Sam leaping into Robert F. Kennedy, exploring an animated episode, and even the unconventional notion of leaping into a baby. Donald P. Belisario, the writer and producer, harbored a desire to have Sam leap into Thomas Magnum, though the reasons for its non-materialization remain unclear. The Quantum Leap universe acknowledged Magnum, P.I. as fictional within its narrative, a detail established in an earlier episode. These details provide insights into the spontaneous origins of a famous catchphrase, the predominantly female team behind the project, and the creative brainstorming that shaped unused episode ideas. The narrative reflects the show's dynamic nature and the unexplored territories that exist in its universe. Dean Stockwell's contribution to Quantum Leap went beyond acting, as he proposed the iconic detail of Al Cal Avicii constantly enjoying a cigar throughout the series. According to Stockwell, this was a strategic move to secure a steady supply of free cigars for the entire five-year duration of the show. In the diverse array of leaps Sam Beckett made, nine instances stand out where he took on the identities of women or teenage girls. These include Samantha Stormer, Linda Bruckner, Darlene Monty, Billie Jean Crockett, Katie McBain, Cherry, Margaret Sanders, Dr. Ruth Westimer, and Liz Tate. Each leap brought a unique set of challenges and experiences for the protagonist. One interesting pattern emerged during Sam's leaps, with the year 1957 serving as a recurring setting seven different times throughout the series. This marked it as the most frequently revisited year, showcasing the show's commitment to exploring various moments in history. These details, drawn from a reliable source, 
offer a glimpse into the creative decisions behind Al's distinctive habit, the diverse range of characters Sam embodied, and the recurring temporal focus on the year 1957. The succinct exploration of these aspects adds depth to the understanding of Quantum Leap, emphasizing its unique elements and narrative choices.